Okay, so uh, analyzing a malware uh, inside the um, Neuron cloud uh, software. Uh, so Neuron is an online detonating service. You can detonate uh, your malware there and then analyze uh, what it had inside, what actions uh, that it took, um, what files uh, it uh, modified, and uh, for example, uh, what uh, HTTP request uh, it uh, it was sending. Um, so in this case, we've got um, emoted uh, malware, uh, and as you can see uh, here, we can play a video which will be showing. Uh, the whole process of infecting uh, the uh, endpoint with uh, this malware. Um, the our first task uh, will be to search for the processes that this malware was executing. And as you can see uh, here in the bottom right corner, you can see a section called processes. Uh, and here you can see that uh, the, the emoted document uh, was opened uh, with Word. Um, and you can also uh, confirm it uh, with what you can see in this video. Uh, and then you can see that the PowerShell process was uh, started and then the um, uh, 2284 uh, uh, executable was started and then something called easywindow.com. X uh, was also flagged as emoted. Mm, now what can we do uh, is we can search what uh, actually uh, were uh, what was what were the mm, insights uh, of the command that it was triggered. Uh, in this case, we will open the PowerShell uh, window as you can see here, and I will click on more info. And uh, if I scroll a little bit to the bottom, or here, you can see the command line. And you can see that there is a PowerShell minus encode for encoding, and then you've got a base64 uh, string uh, that was um, uh, run. Uh, we can copy that string. Uh, and open a website uh, called uh, Base64 Decode. And we can see by pasting it here, uh, I will select the auto detect uh, mode and uh, go uh, decode. And here you can see the decoded uh, command that was run with, uh, with PowerShell. Mm, if you feel uh, confident in your PowerShell uh, abilities, you can also analyze step-by-step uh, step, uh, what has happened here. You can see the URLs, you can see some URLs, you can see some, uh, some other commands. Uh, and now we will go to another, uh, another task, another question uh, in our Anyone uh, demo, uh, and it will be finding out the HTTP uh, request that this malware was sending. Um, we'll need to focus on one particular uh, process, process ID, and uh, this will be the um, process ID uh, 3560 for the easy window uh, exe process that was flagged uh, as uh, emoted. Uh, let me open this and click also on more info. And here in the uh, events section, you can see that we've got an option to view HTTP requests. So let me open this, uh, this option. And here you can see that um, our malware was communicating with those IPs. We, we can see the whole URL, URL actually. Um, what was the type uh, of the request? So we can see that uh, there was four posts request, but it didn't get any um, any response. Uh, you can then uh, check those IPs uh, in a different software. Uh, it is all uh, up to you. Um, then uh, we will need to check what was the host name um, that the process was sending those 
HTTP request to. Uh, what we will do is we'll open a different process. Uh, in this case, will be, it will be the uh, PowerShell uh, process. We'll also click on more info uh, and we will see the HTTP request here. And you can see that we have a uh, um, domain name uh, blockchain job list. And in this case, uh, there, it was a get request and we got a response um, okay to 100. Uh, you can see that uh, the executable was downloaded uh, here. Uh, we can also see uh, whether or not any files were modified, uh, modified by running this uh, malware. Uh, we'll go back and we'll select uh, this 284 um, process. Uh, this one, exactly this one. Uh, let's go to more info. And then in the event section, you can see that we have modified files one. Uh, let's click on it. And here you can see uh, what was the executable. Uh, in this case, it was the easy window. We also have seen that earlier, but this time we can confirm it. We also have the MD5 uh, hash. Uh, to search in other uh, software. Um, if we go back here, um, we can also see what uh, user has run uh, the specific process. In this case, it was admin, we've got the set. Um, and uh, in our investigation, the whole, um, the, every every process that was running was running uh, from the admin account, uh, but in other uh, in other cases uh, the accounts can change uh, with the um, with the whole uh, infection process. Uh, 